Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Today, I've got a quick video for you. We have seven new images from The Last Jedi, and while some are just self-explanatory, there's one that I'd like to go over in a bit more detail. Firstly, let's cover these new images and cover photos while leaving the best for last. To start things off, here are the four magazine covers, where we see Poe and Haldo, Luke and Leia, Finn and Rose, and of course, Kylo and Rey. Next up, we have some screenshots from the film, the massive gorilla walkers, or otherwise known as ATM6s, which, as we can see, make the AT-ATs look like babies. I can't wait to see these things light up the screen in just under a month. Next up, Poe and General Leia, most likely from the scene in the trailers or the new TV spots that we've been getting, where he asks permission to blow some things up. Here is a photo of Rey in the rain, which we've all seen before, and what I believe is a misindirection or misinterpretation of her fighting Luke. But check this out. If you reverse the clip, it looks more natural and as if she's actually lowering her lightsaber, not raising it. I think this was made to trick us once again. This shot is of Kylo that we've seen a million times by now. Next we have Finn and Rose, then Luke training Rey and looming in the distance, overlooking her training as she proceeds with the lesson. Somewhat like how Obi-Wan did with Luke on the Falcon. Here's another picture of Holdo, and then the Millennium Falcon. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's go on to the main image. Here's Rey. She's aboard Snoke's ship, and if we look in the background, we see Kylo Ren standing behind her. She's wearing the same clothing as she was in the trailer, where she's getting her essence absorbed by Snoke, or maybe even she's having her mind controlled to turn against her friends. It seems they've sped things up a little bit in The Last Jedi, where in Episode 6 we had Vader bring Luke to the Emperor, now we have Kylo bring Rey to Snoke. Now what I think could happen here is Snoke performs the same mind probe technique that Kylo failed to finish when she resisted as much as she could. And maybe in this film, she'll be resisting Luke's location or something of great importance. Now if that's not the case, maybe Snoke is trying to absorb her life force and gain strength, or maybe collect it for some purpose. In the event that he is collecting it in that little machine that he has there, do you think it's all for himself? Or are there others like him in the galaxy who need to be awoken? Other ancient force entities. So now that we know Kylo Ren was behind Rey the whole time during that scene in the trailer, then what does this mean? Is he just watching? Does he leave the room perhaps? Or does he grow angry at Snoke and turn against him with Rey? What if Rey turned and then had to fight Kylo? And now Kylo would join Luke? That would really twist things up. Maybe Rey and Kylo do actually unite to try and bring him down. Maybe they're pretending the whole time. I'm wondering if the way Rey got there is along the same plot line as the Empire Strikes Back. You remember how Luke broke his training early with Yoda, but this time Rey leaves Luke on Octu and allows Kylo to take her to Snoke's ship. Now here's what I really want to see. Palpatine in the Han Solo spin-off film, during a scene where we see him trying to contact Snoke in the unknown regions of the galaxy. That would be truly something else. It would help tie things in together so well, and that is my only guess as to why they're releasing the film so early after Episode 8. There are so many different possibilities here, and I can feel the excitement swell within you, my friends. Just under one month to go now until we finally get the two-year-long-awaited film that we've all been so patiently waiting for. I hope you guys enjoyed this theory and reveal of the new pictures. I hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you're watching this in the galaxy. And I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.